Welcome back to Talos of Tech, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I am joined by a good friend of mine, Wyatt Whitesey, who makes appearances on the main channel, just called Talosive, in a lot of my Saturday shorts. How's it going? I don't want to be here. Oh. You told me to wake up at, like, the butt crack of dawn. Mm -hmm. Come here. It's not. It, we, I've been here a while, Drew. Well, they love Drew. You. No, they, they don't. Yes, whenever, they do. whenever, I'm on, whenever I'm on the tech channel, views go low. They, 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 go, they go down. I think the only reason why people are excited to see me is because they're so tired of seeing your face. Okay, so Wyatt, you switched to the Razer Phone 2 right after I unboxed and reviewed it, which yes. was back in October. Yes. And today, as the title suggests, we're going to be doing a recap of it's been like we're coming up on five months yeah. from that. So About how months. has overall your experience been with the Razer Phone 2? This is your first phone from Razer. It's the best phone I've ever used. Really? Yes. The best. In so my... what do you like about it? Let's start with that. Obviously, my my favorite feature is the uh, 120 hertz screen. I am super jealous of that. It's, Every it time is... I pick up his phone or he shows me something on his phone, even though it's Android, I get extremely jealous of the 120 hertz because this is a very it's, rare it's feature. It's just so gosh darn smooth. <laughs> just and, and, scrolling. And, and yeah. that, it's amazing. Easily. Um, okay, so that hasn't changed. The speakers, they're great. They're very loud. They, they sound Agreed. great. They're loud. The RGB on the back. The RGB it's, logo. It's, all, it's, it's, it's a feature, but it's, it's, a, it's a very cool feature. It's a very cool feature. Design it, choice. It, yeah. it has no purpose other than, than being cool, and I, <laughs> and I cool. like it. Well, good. So we've, we've established a lot from the past, a lot of the advantages to the Razer phone, but has your experience been perfect, or have there been oh, no, uh, that, some no, issues? There's, there's, mm. It definitely has its issues. Okay. What kind um, of stuff? The biggest issue for me is the fingerprint reader. Where is it on the so it's, it's on the power button. Oh, yeah, that's it's right. It's on the power okay. button. It's great when it works, but besides that... Uh, it, but it doesn't work it, too well? I'll say it works about 40% of the time. Wow. For, for, for that, that's my experience. It's only worked about 40% of the time. So that means like the majority of the time it wasn't working. Yes. Wow. Yes. Every time I try to unlock the screen, it'd just be, nope, nope, nope. And I'd have to rub that off, rub my finger off, and try again. And sometimes that would work. It would work to wipe off the finger? It sometimes. Mm -hmm. This also just be, might be my experience. Okay. Uh, the speakers, yeah. One of them will just sometimes stop working. Altogether. Oh, like one is in the top or so, bottom. So yeah, there, there's two speakers. On Correct. It. Sometimes this is this is and this is just cell. Mm -hmm. it, most of the time it works great. Okay. Just one of them will just black out. Huh. And will stop working for a long time. Uh, for a couple minutes, it, it'll just okay. stop working. That's bizarre. Another thing I'm not not too cool about is uh, all the particulate that gets in the speakers. Yeah, I noticed that it's, too. It's, just uh, in my short time with it, and and that might be yeah. because I have a lot of dandruff and no, psoriasis no, it, and it's, stuff. No, it's there, it's like sand and dust and, and just, it'll just get collected in there. Crap in there, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but the camera is not. That's true. It's, it's, it's not it's, a great it's, camera. It's, but I don't think they designed it for the camera. That's no, the it's a gaming phone. I think it's a gaming phone. It arguably shouldn't have a but, camera. But <laughs> although, but I'll say this: mm -hmm. since I upgraded to Android Pie, which was yesterday, yep. as of when this was recorded, it said uh, camera is not optimized for 720, 1080, and 4K at 60 film. The, the, oh, for 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 recording. Not for photos, but for yeah, photos. yeah. So it supports 4K at so, 60 now. Yeah, that, that's, wow. That, that's what it said on the uh, the patch notes, I guess. You Interesting, because yeah. when I unboxed it, it didn't have that, and I was kind of bummed out about it because it has mm -hmm. the Snapdragon 845, which supposedly can handle that. Yeah. It's interesting they added that via software update. Yeah, they added wow. it with Android Pie. Yeah. Yeah, because so, I was going to say, that's what kind of inspired me to want to do an update video, because a lot of the time, YouTubers review the phone a week after they use it, and then it gets put aside, and then we never hear about it. Yeah. So with the Razer Phone 2 being a phone that kind of stayed within the Talos of Circle, I was like, I want to know how this thing ages. And just yesterday, I think, Android Pie, you got it? Uh, it was actually on uh, Sunday. Night. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So Sunday night, that's when the Android... Pi started supporting, and you got a bunch of new features with it? Oh, yeah. It, it came with uh, adaptive battery, they call it, I think. Adaptive battery? So, I, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> it, it didn't come with a description. It said adaptive battery camera. Uh, like, there's a mm -hmm. wellness thing, and, and then a bunch of other bug fixes. Did you notice the nav bar change at all? Because on, on the Pixel 3, which I used for a while, Android 9 has a different method to activating multitasking. Yeah, they, they, they got rid of the multitasking button altogether. Oh, the button is gone. Yeah, the button is gone. Yeah. It, it would be right next to the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Screen. Okay. Now you have to put your finger where it was and scroll up. Oh, you swipe up to you activate swipe up to activate mul okay. no to activate uh, screen fill to the multi-page window. Right, right. And okay. Then, Is there still a back button? Yes, there's still a back button. Okay. So how do you feel about that change with Android um, 9? Do you prefer that change or did you miss the old three buttons on the bottom? I, I, I I'll say f for right now I prefer it, but I can definitely get used to it. You're, you're getting used to it. Yeah, slowly? I, I'm getting used to it. Okay. Yeah, because like there's there's two methods to uh, if yeah. you have say, say you open two apps like you know I'll open Twitter and then YouTube. If I want to switch between them before I'd have to you know 
I'll close it, then or, or I'd press the button, mm-hmm. s- swipe through, and then open it. Right. With this, I, I can just put my finger where the multitask window was and just swipe uh-huh. around. So okay. if, I, if I have YouTube open, I just... So that can work more efficiently than before, you'd say? Uh... Sure. So it, that, it's, that it's really easy to scroll through apps. Okay. So that wasn't there before, and now having that, you yeah. feel like the efficiency. Oh uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's, okay. it's it's a more efficient way. Yeah. Sadly, I, the other reason I wanted to update on the Razer phone is because there's been talk and rumors that Razer might be closing their mobile b- division, uh-huh. which I'm not excited for because I think the Razer phone one to the two was like a huge improvement. Okay. They updated a okay. ton of things, and I think this was a decent phone. The only thing I would change with it is the placement of the cheek coil on the back because. This works... Ha- having to use their own... Right, was, you have to was, use... It was a pain because... Yeah, it doesn't work with any wireless charger unless you hold it really it, off-center. It, unless it's in a very specific place. So when they say the Razer Phone 2 supports Qi, that it's like kind of... It kind of supports Qi. It supports Qi. a Qi charger. <laughs> it supports... One, which we did a uh, unboxing video on Talos of Talks mm-hmm. of the wireless charger, which I will agree is one of the coolest. It is. It is very cool. It is probably, that, in regards to fashion and, and look, it's probably the coolest it's, it's, wireless it's charger It's much like is. the RGB. It serves no purpose other than being cool. <laughs> it looks incredible, and I'm super jealous I mean, of it. It works great, too. I mean, it, it charges the yeah. phone. The sad thing about the Razer wireless charger, though, is it only charges that phone. <laughs> if you put an iPhone on it, you, it's like... It, it, a red light pops up, and it goes like... Bruh, bruh, yeah. No. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> charge your phone it's, on it's this. It's the weirdest thing. So it's, you know, it, it's kind of that Razer ecosystem. It works together. Outside of it, not not yeah. so much. With other wireless chargers, the Razer phone won't work too well. And same with other phones and the Razer wireless charger. But regardless, when they're together, they look dope. Yes. What would you change if, let's say they don't cancel the mobile division, hopefully, fingers crossed. What would you change to the Razer phone 3 to make it better? Uh, obviously move the cheek coils down. The, the coils oh, down. move the coils to a place a, where they a, work. A, a, a better spot. This is just me. Mm-hmm. I get rid of the front-facing camera. That's just <laughs> I don't. I don't use the camera. You on don't my phone. need to take. Sel- you don't uh, need to take any selfies. So you're just uh, I like. I put a second RGB logo. No. <laughs> uh, um, what else? Bigger RGB logo. Tinker with the uh, fingerprint reader. Mm. Uh, try to see if I. I don't. That, that just might be my experience. A lot like cheaper said, phones build it into the display now. Yeah. So I feel like th- 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 that might be a better option. I mean, the, the I think the Razer Phone Two went on sale for two hundred dollars off recently, but retail I think it was like seven hundred. Seven yeah, or seven hundred. Uh, or seven fifty that's or whatever. What, that's what you and. There are phones in the $550 range that have not the fastest, but fingerprint readers in the screen. So I would really recommend if Razer's still going to make a Razer Phone 3 that they build it in like that. Because I've noticed with many devices that put the fingerprint reader on the power button, they're usually not that reliable. The Pixel Slate had that, but that had a billion other problems. And I, I'm worried about it because the cheap version of the Galaxy S10 also does the fingerprint reader on the power button. And I'm kind of like, eh. I don't know. That might work. Maybe it'll be better than this, but we'll see. moving that would be a good idea. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't think many Razer phone users would care if the front facing camera was gone. <laughs> I, it's, yeah, it's um, it's it's not a super important feature. <laughs> they emailed me because when I bought this thing, I got enlisted in the Razer email chain. They wanted to host a raise shot on Send Razer pictures, phone. Send pictures, yeah. Do your hashtag shot on Razer phone images and use use that hashtag to submit the competition. I'm like, ooh, that's not a good idea. Uh, don't do yeah. that. So that's all you change, or is there anything? Oh no, else? Uh, I I try and fix a solution to the, the stuff getting in the speakers mm. as well. That's a, I wonder a, if there's a way to fix that. It's it's a it, it's a noticeable problem. Yeah. It, it's, it's kind of, it bugs me a little bit. To see the little dots. Yeah. In the well, Let's say, that, worst cool. case scenario, there is no Razer Phone 3. Down the road, you may need to upgrade your phone again. Do you think you'd go back to a Samsung, or would you try out a OnePlus, or what do you I, think? I'd probably, no, I'd go back to a Samsung. Because you had a for Note... Right, for right now, I'd go back to a Samsung. You had a Note 5 before this. Yes. Which was just getting old. It and was getting old. It was broken. And, right. Yeah. You would still consider an upgrade, and you're still happy with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I will add, one time, we were getting out of a car together, and you dropped it on the and pavement. That, and, I, and I didn't have a... Scrim- there was, there a, was no case there on was it. There was no case on it. Yeah. And it was perfectly fine. Yeah, it, it just... Like, there was like there was no scratches or anything. It was perfectly yeah, fine, which yeah. I was impressed with, because I don't do drop tests, because it's 
completely subjective to the situation, it's but the, stupid. it's stupid. It's <laughs> stupid. The fact that you could drop the razor phone on pavement. Yeah, I dropped it from about well, what a foot and a half. Right out of the car, maybe. yeah. Just, Boom, just, and just, you just picked it up, and it was fine. I was like, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. It worked. It, it landed nicely. So I'm hoping because every time I like an Android phone, the company goes bankrupt. It, it <laughs> <laughs> annoys me. Like well, I, I love I the essential I phone. I don't. I don't think the razor's gonna go bankrupt. I think. No, I think no. They're just, that they're division. Just halting, they're just halting the phone production. Yeah, that division might decide this isn't profitable enough we have to cancel and I saw rumors of that and I'm just like why does this always happen anytime I like an Android phone it's like eh we're not gonna make those anymore so I think I love goes away <laughs> I'm hoping there is a Razer Phone 3 yeah, uh, because I, I think the, this is a solid phone in the Android department it has a ton of exclusive features you can't get elsewhere and there's just a couple of tiny things that they could alter to make it even better so ultimately it's not the phone I'm gonna switch to because I'm still embedded into iOS and Apple and everything but I can still respect and admire what the competition can develop and uh, Razer Phone 2 is definitely one of the most impressive out there for me. So I'm glad you bought it yes. off me. I'm yes. glad you're using it because uh, I like being able to see it every now and again. I'm glad I bought it. It's a it's a good upgrade. Yes. So if anyone out there just by chance is watching this on the Razer Phone, let us know what you think of it down in the comments below. And of course, the vast majority of you, if you don't have one, let us know what you think of it or what they would need to change to make the Razer Phone 3 worth it. So this is your Apple Sheep here. Can I go home, please? Yes, you can go. God. Oh and we'll God. see you in the next one.